guys. So I am in my car and I just had, I just went to go have ice cream. Um, But I was like, oh, while I'm out, maybe I can just like record in my car, I don't know. Just because I just wanted to talk about, I'm still from the side of what I wanna talk about. But, um, <coughs> I don't know, just with me like quitting my job and getting another job and wherever my life is like, where life is taking me, I just kind of realized, you know, sex is sex. Success is very subjective, and I don't think that my generation has an understanding of that because it's like I don't know. I guess it's like like success is not one size fits all, you know. Like what success is for me will not be the same success for you, you know. And to and it doesn't say that my success is greater than yours or your success isn't as good as mine or anything like that it's just that we're all on different walks in life so you know like when i tell people where i work they're like oh well a job is a job you know you'll, you'll find something but it's like that's not how i feel about it i actually enjoy where i work you know like did i take a huge pay cut absolutely but in my journey of this thing called life, I've learned that money is probably, I mean, yes, it's important. You wanna have enough to survive, but at the same time, for me, money does not trump how I feel, hence why I quit my job, you know? I was making a good amount of money where I was, but I absolutely hated that job. So I just feel like, like, I don't need to be consoled, you know, about where I work. I'm not embarrassed, I'm not ashamed. I actually really enjoy my job, you know? If I don't feel like going to work, it's because I just don't feel like going because like I might be like tired or because I didn't, I stayed up late, but it's not because I hate it. It's not because I'm dreading going there. It's not because I'm dreading going to see my teammates or I'm dread. I don't feel that, you know? And I feel like it's a good place for me to be in, especially if I'm about to go to school. I cannot imagine having gone to school while working at my other job. Like, how was I gonna do my work? I wouldn't have been as successful. So now I'm just in a different place, but enough about me. I just think we need to understand the fact that Success looks different for everyone. Like, don't try to downplay what somebody else is doing, you know? Because it doesn't look like what you think they should be doing. Cause, like, I, like when I was at my job, people thought that I was just so happy that I was living a life, you know? Because, I, because you think that you're supposed to go to school and get this job and work, get work this kind of job. And it's like, I'm learning that that's really not true. You know, that's not true, which leads me to another thing. Like, I this girl, she posted on her Instagram story and was like, is college important? Um, she was like, is college important? And um, I, well, she asked a, actually a series of questions. That was one of them. And I asked the same question on my story. Um, but it didn't, I didn't get into like a big discussion with anybody, but it was just like a yes or no. Some people replied. But that's another thing. Like, don't try to downplay somebody who didn't go to college. Well, not downplay, like, what can I, how can I, what am I trying to say? Do I think college is important? Absolutely, but not because of the degree that you get. I'm more so speaking to undergrad. Not because of the degree that you get, but more so I think you learn a lot more things. Um, I think college is more about the experience than it is the education, unless you're going for something that's so specific. Like my degree, healthcare management, is very, not broad, but I, I took a lot of classes that can kind of, that can kind of, what's the word? I don't know, that can, I can use that knowledge wherever, but also at the same time, I don't remember a lot of stuff I used in college. But whereas someone who is studying nursing or studying biology, you know, that more so pertains to where they'll actually be. But for me, in my opinion, college as a whole, it speaks to your, you as a, as a person. It speaks to your character. It thinks it speaks to your desire to see something through to through to the end you know it shows that you're reliable enough to get up and go to class every day for four or five six however many years it took you to go to school you know so that's why I think um, college is important it's important because of the experience that you get is it more so important is it important for the education that's debatable you know that the jury's out on that in my in my opinion um, but I do think a lot of the things I took from college were not taught in the classroom. Um, and that's, and I mean like the connections that I made, like I literally know somebody who does everything 
like I know photographers, I know stylists, I know estheticians, I know hairdressers, I know barbers. You know, not to say you can't meet these people in any other place, but it's like, I don't know. It's just like, it just connects you with all these different people. And then not to mention like some of the older people that I met that now I would consider my mentors that I can reach out to, that I have reached out to um, for life advice. You know, not even just, um, job advice or anything like that but just like life if I need if I'm having issues in life I've met some really good what I would say mentors um through college so I think in my opinion is college important does college make you successful it's all in what you do with the tools that you got but is college like is it just about the education not necessarily now that's why I don't think jobs necessarily look at your degree because like somebody I worked at a healthcare IT firm this girl who in my start group her major was music you know it's not always about what you study but it's about the fact like I said you were, you were able to finish this degree you know and for however long it took you to finish your degree which takes a lot of perseverance because college can be hard um so I think there are certain things that job see in a person because they got a degree not necessarily because of the education unless it's like a specific type of degree if, they, if that makes sense but anyways um yeah it's just i don't know i just get really tired of i think i really think this is from like the whole social media age because we we put success at this certain pedestal and if success doesn't look like this then a person is unsuccessful like somebody might feel like i'm unsuccessful but I don't feel like I'm unsuccessful because I feel like I did a really good job at creating new happiness for myself. And so for me, that's successful, you know? Do I make the most money? Absolutely not. But do I work at a place where I enjoy and where I'm cool, with, where I work with some cool people? Do I work for, do I like my job? Yes. Um, the job that I have now, you know, it allows a lot of flexibility. There are different things that, you know, that but that I feel there are different reasons why I feel like I'm successful but somebody else may feel like I'm not successful and that's fine but don't try to I don't want to curse but don't try to minimize somebody else's success because it doesn't look like what you think success looks like because we don't it's like we do not understand the fact that everybody's success is so different like it's all, we're all so different just like we don't have the same style we don't have the same haircut we don't have the same face like success is the same exact way it does not look the same for everybody so like I said I think it just comes down to this social media generation that we're in because where else will people get the comparisons from you think that success is you know being able you know how these people get famous on Instagram and people be like that's success but you don't I, like or like the way we all say we always say not we I don't say that but the way this whole thing of goals is a thing now but it's like how are you saying goals about somebody that you don't even know I, there's this couple that's been like popping up on my TL and they just got married and they had like a really lavish wedding and the girl she'll post stuff about her husband and stuff and it'll like be on my Twitter timeline and somebody was like now this is goals this is the type of husband I want not saying that the girl is lying or that you know she's putting on but that man could be like beating on her that woman that man could be abusive and I, I I'm being very dramatic when I say this, but I'm just saying that to say like you don't know what somebody had to go through to get where they are you know so is that really the goal you know what I'm saying you can say you're inspired and you know you like the way it looks but if you think about it what do you post on social media more so specifically what do you post on Instagram you don't post, people are more likely not post, going to post pictures where, sorry I'm looking around, but it's like I'm sitting in a busy area and it's a lot, it's a lot of stuff going around, but, you know, people aren't going to post pictures where they are, um, like hair not done, makeup not done. No, they're going to post the pictures when their hair is done, they got on their best outfit, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, people only show you the best. People show you what they want you to see. And so you're taking this picture or this 30 second video and you're screaming goals what about the other 23 hours and 30 seconds am i right 23 hours and 30 seconds whatever what about the rest of the day you know what i'm saying like you don't know what that person had to go through you don't know what that person is going through or do you catch my drift here 
it's just I just think we should just focus on ourselves and not really so, more so be focused on what somebody else is doing because then that's when you get um, you start to feel bad and you feel like you're not doing enough when you we really need to also learn how to enjoy the season we're in I think that's what Raven described it as um, enjoy the season we're in because we all go through different seasons at different times and if we're looking at what somebody else is going through and and it seems like they're in a better season than we are you'll never be satisfied that girl's butt is stupid oh my god oh wow this woman's butt is stupid fat but um if you're always focusing on somebody else's you'll never be worried about it. you'll never be happy with what you got going on and I feel like that's what, what happens a lot on Instagram like we feel like we're so regular or you know or we're so broke and rich being rich being wealthy is not only counted monetarily what are you what about the inside you know are you a good person on the inside are you creating moments for yourself that are happy you know that's why I don't I like Twitter I do like Twitter I, li I like to tweet but Instagram I don't I like Instagram but I don't follow I don't feel like I follow the right people on Instagram because I don't want to see a lot of stuff that I see on Instagram if that makes sense I don't know I just feel like Instagram is really a tool or any social media honestly is a tool to create a facade and I like Twitter sometimes people can be a little bit more real um, they're willing to be a little bit more real on Twitter than they are on Instagram people are we're, people aren't always honest I, I think that's what I wish was shown more on Instagram you know like your fave celebrity not even celebrities but like the everyday person that you probably compare yourself to like I wish people would be a lot more open and honest about where they are. Um, and not to say people have to share all their business, but, you know, if you were broke, you know, say it. You can say you're broke. Because we've all been broke before. You know? If you're having a bad day, you can say you're... If you're feeling depressed, you can say that. But it's like sometimes I just feel like people do their best to put on. And I don't really be here for that. I like to... I like to experience the real and I don't get a lot of that but that's so far off from what I was even talking about but I don't know I just wanted to vent because I was talking to Raven um, we were just talking about I, I hadn't seen her in forever and we hadn't talked in a couple weeks so we were just kind of catching up and talking about life and stuff and I was just telling her like what I told y'all about how people feel the need to come I guess you could say oh my lighting this light the, the lighting in this video is probably gonna be really weird because i'm outside well i'm not outside i'm in a car and if a bigger car drives by it'll like mess up the lighting but whatever um what was i even talking about oh but yeah we were just me and raven were just talking about like people being in different seasons and enjoying the season where you are because your time will come but until then be grateful for where you are and don't ever feel like you're not doing enough you know don't ever look at don't look at what somebody else is doing and feel like you're not doing enough let me say that because if you do that you'll always feel less than you'll never feel good about yourself and it's okay to sometimes pat yourself on the back and it's okay to sometimes say yeah today's not my day today's not the best day you know yeah success looks different for everybody and Shout out to you if you're still trying to figure it out. Because we all trying to figure it out out here. And if you feel like you got to figure out, shout out to you too. But I hope this video made sense. I don't know. I always think of things that I want to not talk about, not exactly say, but points that I want to hit in videos. And once I get to talk and I don't, I, I forget what I was supposed to say but this is just a quick little random video I think we're gonna put this as a bomb talks this is a if you go back to my one of my very first videos we had bomb talk I said that was gonna be like a new a thing on my channel so this will be the second video in that playlist bomb talks if you guys have any more topics or anything else that you want to chat about or you want me to chat about let me know in the comments and if you guys like these type of videos where I'm just chilling and talking give me a thumbs up please but yeah that's it um thank you guys for watching i have as of now i have 320 
27 subscribers which is absolutely amazing for me because ugh, that's another story for a different day but thank you guys so much for continuing to support me and watching my videos and sharing my videos I absolutely appreciate it my YouTube channel has really become something that's very important to me um, it was always important to me but now I'm in a different headspace so it's like I really really care about it's like my little child and I'm trying to work and you know create better content and upgrade my s stuff so that I can bring you all better quality of content but in the meantime while we get to the top thank you guys so much for subscribing and I really appreciate you guys and that's it I think I'm rambling at this point but that's it guys I'll see you guys in the next one